All right, well, welcome. Hope you guys had a good lunch, got some dessert, and uh, you still have to go back to work this afternoon, as Father Gabe would probably tell you, so we all do. Uh, but welcome to the 2011-2012 season. I know I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. It's a, a good group here, <clears throat> so I really appreciate you coming out. And um, yeah, as mentioned, Sarah just she came to me yesterday. I have a, a meeting with my advisor, and I really I need I need to go to this meeting. So um, she uh, just couldn't make it. She might pop in if she can between classes, but she, that's where she is. But I really invited um, <clears throat> you know the seniors here. Um, Allison and Shanae are the captains, okay, but the seniors here, this is my first recruiting class. It's, you know, I've been with them, this is four years, and I recruited them, all of them, and um, they're special. They've been in three straight Northeast Conference championships, so I guess we could maybe say it was a successful class, um, but I, you know, from my perspective, and hopefully from theirs too, it's not finished. It's not finished, and uh, for them, you know, it's definitely not finished for Shanae and Allie. They got another, even another year to go, but uh, another two years for Allie after this. But the the seniors, you know, I, I remember being a senior, and you want to end on your best note. So that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to even get better, and I think we can, and I think we've brought in some more pieces to do that. Um, we're we're different than last year with the departure of, of Sam Leach and Allie Daly. It's a lot of leadership. It's a lot of points, a lot of intelligent basketball, and I definitely am going to miss them. You will see them around the first semester. Um, that first, that Duquesne game, the, the team and um, all support staff are going to receive their in, uh, NCAA ring. So uh, come out for that game, and they're going to, in a pregame ceremony, receive those rings, and I know they'll be real pleased with them. But it's just, I'm real excited that we are, we have three weeks left, and as a coach, I'm glad we have three weeks left to practice, because we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we are not ready for Duquesne yet, but we will get there. I think, you know, what are you going to see this year? You know, we've always been an up-tempo team, and I, that will continue. We are um, working on even getting a little more up-tempo defensively, because I think we have more depth, we have more size, we have more length. And when we talk about length, if you saw the Maryland game last year, hopefully that gives you a picture of length. We don't have that length, but we definitely have length in terms of the Northeast Conference. And we need to use that. We have a lot more depth. So um, I think we've added more shooting overall, I think you guys would say. And um, we have a lot of people that can play. And we're going to need to play those people to play the tempo that we want to play. And... Um, you know, that's what we're looking for. So non-conference schedule is going to be very difficult. We have our first week is Duquesne on Friday, and then we go to Pitt and go to Syracuse the next week. So um, we have a lot of preparation to do. So I, hopefully you guys can come out. Uh, maybe you can come out to the Pitt game on that next Tuesday, the 15th, and uh, cheer us on. I think we've played pretty well in that building, and we need to come out of there with a victory. So the, that's kind of our first week, and then we'll go from there. We do have two. We have a lot of home games before Christmas. So um, we have Bucknell the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, the next week we open up Northeast Conference play with FDU and Monmouth coming back in here, uh, which will be challenging, and I know they'll be ready for us. And then uh, we have Towson right before finals at home also. And then we'll go on the road to St. Joe's and um, Coppin State right before Christmas. After Christmas we'll head out to Seattle playing a tournament out there. We play against Seattle University uh, on the 29th, and then we'll play either St. Louis or Eastern Michigan in that tournament. And then a day later, we'll go out to Gonzaga, make the trip, bus ride out there, and then back to Seattle before we come back to head um, totally for Northeast Conference play. So we're, we're ready to go. I, I thought yesterday, the la really the last two practices have been pretty good. And I thought we turned a corner maybe um, from the weekend, you know, through the weekend and yesterday, and um, the the light bulbs really started going on. So, as I would, as a coach would say, and um, so we're gonna we have a couple scrimmages coming up. They're closed scrimmages against Morgan State and um, uh, LaSalle, but those nobody can come to those. Those are closed. So, sorry, um, but you know I, I just can't say enough of what these guys have done, and you know what they're gonna do, 
and I'm really confident in them. You know, I'm, I'm always on them to be working, that's for sure. And we need to work together. And hopefully we can, can really do that. And hopefully we can just make you guys proud once again because that's, you know, we want to be holding that, tur that trophy up again on this court again. Th that's the goal is to be here and represent you well and have even more people out come out and, and just have it a, you know, a nice big event. And um, just really appreciate you, appreciate you coming. I'm going to introduce my staff. We have some new faces, and they're working extremely hard. And we've had a, we're going to you know sign our, our next class in um, sec that first week of November. And so we're working on signing four kids in that class, and I think we're in pretty good shape. But um, Joe Haig is back for his fourth season with us. Where's Joe? <laughs> Joe's our um, you know. Joe's worked really hard, and he, he puts in tireless hours. He's our recruiting coordinator, and he's working with the Wings this year. Um, and just really appreciate his uh, his loyalty and the effort that he puts into this program because it really is it's a lot, and it really means a lot. Um, three new faces, Natalie Richard. <laughs> Natalie's working with the post players, and um, she played the position down at the University of Alabama, so I think she can really – uh, give them, you know, a taste of what it's like and um, just be a really good role model for them and be a good influence. Um, Dario Hernandez. There's Dario. <laughs> we kind of took Dario out of New York, and he's um, he really he loves being on the phone. He does a great job, and he really understands the recruiting world, and he's working with the point guards. And he's got his hands full there because I demand a lot from the point guards. So, therefore, I demand a lot from him in getting them ready. And I know he's working them hard. And then Jordan Zoop's been a nice addition to our program as the <laughs> director of basketball operations. She really has been able – that position has just been a, a, a much uh, appreciated one for us because it's really been able to take a lot off our plate in terms of just – I'll say busy work, and allowed our staff to really focus on a lot of recruiting and a lot of X's and O's and development of our players. So just uh, really appreciate everything those guys do. So I guess we'll open it up for questions. If anybody has any questions, and um, you know, thank you very much for coming. <laughs>